Welcome back, everyone. Right now, the Blue Springs High School football team are on their way to St. Louis to try to wrap up a perfect season. But the challenges they face on the field are nothing like one student sportscaster faces during each game. Jenna Hanchert shares the story of a special voice behind the Wildcat team. This is Blue Springs Wildcat football, a presentation of Vision Sports. The Friday night lights at the Blue Springs High School football stadium illuminate the game Blake Terrence knows best. You kind of scripted it pretty good. This, this game was about as dominant as uh, a football game can be, wasn't it? The high school senior knows every move of every Wildcat player on the field. This is Blake Terrence on the Wildcat radio postgame show. If you can't be an artist, then collect the art type thing, you know. So yeah. that's kind of what I've done is I can't play the sports, but I collect the knowledge. But Blake Terrence collects the knowledge of a game he's never seen. He doesn't know what a football looks like, and he's never seen a player catch a pass. I don't want to be the, the blind kid that does broadcasting. I want it to be the broadcaster that happens to be blind. I really like what Coach is doing here. Blake uses the color from the play-by-play -play to paint a picture of the game in his mind. I feel like he gets a, almost a truer picture of what's going on in a game and isn't biased by what he sees. His mental notes are preparation for his online post-game show with players and coaches. The first time we played Rockers, he's like, yeah, he like knew all my stats, knew how many touchdowns I scored and how many tackles I had. And I'm like, what? Like, Blake, what? Like, how, how do you know all that? On to Blue Springs. But Blake almost didn't make it to the home of the Wildcats. When he was 18 months old, he developed a viral infection that caused his brain to nearly shut down. He was trying to pinch the Cheerios, and he was missing them. And I realized, you know, it's at that point that it's just not the flu. Blake quickly deteriorated and was paralyzed on half of his body. Mike Terrence was not ready to lose his son. What do you mean? Life fighting. You said an hour ago everything would be fine. After spending weeks in the hospital, Blake started to regain his health, but his vision never returned. Everything after that was about... Uh, being a normal kid that's just blind. And for the last 17 years, Blake has been groomed to show the world that he's ready to compete in the major leagues of life. So if you want to prove that you do deserve to be associated with those quote unquote, for lack of a more politically correct term, normal sided people, then you have to maybe do a little bit more to prove to the public that you are legit. While Friday nights are spent studying America's favorite sport, the other days of the week he spends practicing for another passion. Without reading one sheet of music, Blake's fingers grace the strings of his cello. I've got the ear for the notes, and so once I get the notes down of the song and the rhythm and everything, then I can play it from memory. Growing up on the offensive side of life, Blake tackled every childhood challenge head on. Now, almost 10 years later, he's found a game that makes him push downfield. He's found a voice that doesn't give up at the 50-yard line, a passion that pulls him out of the darkness. Once again, I'm Blake Terrence. This is the Wildcat Radio Post Game Show. Good night from PB Stadium. Wow. Blake has been accepted to the prestigious Missouri School of Journalism. He will start his freshman year next fall. Blue Springs takes on Rock Bridge tomorrow in St. Louis for the Class 6 state title. Good luck.